Hello guys, so it's time for a new logic update. It's version 10.4 and there's a lot of different new stuff, new features and uh, a lot of different bug fixes in this uh, release. But I'm going to show you just a little quick trick for electronic music producers out there or like dance music producers and it's basically just to get your loops, your own third-party loops that you bought or downloaded so you can preview them in the right time of your project. So pre what we had previously was just Apple Loops. Just Apple Loops did that. So for instance, we had this project here and I'm going to search for some, let's say, Deep House drums. So what we did before was this. So the loops basically played in in the right tempo of the project and in sync. So if we got to our own loops that we downloaded, then they were not in sync when we played our project. So and as you can hear, it's still not in sync when you're going in the media browser here. But you can do it this way. So you go back to Apple Loops, just have it like this. Then you go to Finder and you're finding your own drum loop folder and you're just dragging it in to logic but you have to drag it in to the apple loops window here then you're going to get asked if this is untagged loops and you choose add to untagged loops then you get a new kind of section here you can see it's called untagged loops and now your own audio loops will just behave like Apple loops. So let's say we're playing some of our own loops here. And it just works like in Ableton or FL Studio. It's the same thing. So this update is really awesome for playing around with different drum loops and and uh, yeah beats and rhythms to get get in that mode you know